the creative minds here at AFL. A at AFL. Hi, Kevin here, and on today's episode of On The Lot, we're going to talk about miniature making. Uh, this isn't working out. We have so many talented people behind the miniatures, and they're all here at AFL downstairs working in the tent, working in the prop studio, so why don't we just go ask them ourselves? Let's go downstairs. Miniatures are miniature characters and sets that we built here to bring the tabletop world to life. We have two live shows called Otero and One Shot or Not that play every Tuesday on Twitch, and we usually have a very constrained time to build them. Miniature making is not just a fun hobby for me. It's a deep, dark hole from which I can't escape. Um, it's very stressful. Um, it's very exciting and Weird. This is actually the first time I've made this sort of stuff, like minis, is coming to AFL. I started my kind of journey on this when we started One Shot or Not. How dare you! It's so much fun, but like, it's like if it were anything else, I would have to see a doctor. Like, I really love these things. As the paint dries, it'll look like a stone, and the hope is that at the end, this kind of feels a bit more like a fossil. This is the Castle Lender. This was Julian's project. He worked a long time on this. All the little windows, he actually 3D printed, and he hand carved each one of these out of foam and indented it to get all the texture. And then underneath, this one also opens up. I can't remember how many man hours this took, but a lot. So with the, the Linus one-shot episode that was shot, Matt had an idea for this feature creature that he wanted to put together, and it was kind of a, a fun mix of a praying mantis, a moth, with sort of a humanoid upper body. I had to do this thing in like a day, so I had to like rush through this whole thing. And there I just went into ZBrush and started sculpting and hacking away at a sphere until it turned into something that started looking interesting. And from that point, uh, once the, the creature's looking good, of course we go to the 3D print. We did an SLA print in a Form 2, which is a nice high fidelity print. So it has all the little nooks and crannies, all the details in there. And from there you, you, you pull it out, wash it, you harden it in a, a UV bath. And then of course you remove all the substructure, and then you paint it. Um, so I use a lot of airbrushing to help get it, get it there quick. Base paint it in the black, hit it with the white on top to help kind of build the structure, and then I just kind of use that to help shade it quickly. And then from there, get in it with the detail brush, the, the gums, the teeth, the eyes. It's, it's straightforward, but it's cool that you can go from a computer now, sculpt digitally, and then move all the way through and have a print within a day. Brought it here and put it on set, and we went. I draw a lot of my inspiration from movies and you know video games and stuff like that. There's so much great fantasy art out there that there's no shortage of other artists to draw inspiration from. When we were filming Ready to Roll, um, watching Chelsea work, beautiful maps like really took the idea to a whole new level in my head. And I've had a lot of really talented help along the way that have taught me many things. Working on Altero has been super fun. Getting to make these wonderful little worlds come to life in a miniature way. There's always some new wonderful thing that Roz has, like, can you build this? And I'm like, I have no idea how to build that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to experiment, I get to try new things that I would, wouldn't be able to do at home and have the tools and the space to do it. And it's never the same. That's what I love about it. I'm not making the same thing all the time. Someone like sends me a text and is like, hey, we need extra hands on deck because we need to build something. It's amazing. Like, it's, it's a dream come true. Getting to work with people who are or have become in their time here masters at it. I like to see the DM's faces when you show them a crazy thing that seemed like a dream. You know, that kind of level that it brings to the players to experience that. 
Everyone is a different adventure and we've had the benefit here and the privilege here of really experimenting with new different types of things. I've never done this before, so let's go. Let's give it a try. It just inspired me when I got the opportunity to, to make a show about tabletops. I used that inspiration to drive my desire to build and create. If you want to see these miniatures in action, uh, come check out a Filthy Quest Line or tune into Twitch at 3.30 p.m. every Tuesday, uh, where we have our shows One Shot or Not and Altero.